All right, it's me, the man, the myth, the legend, and today we're doing a soda review, my number one favorite thing on this planet. And today we'll be reviewing five sodas of varying qualities and seeing which one I like the best. And our first soda we're going to be reviewing... A&W Root Beer. It's been around since 1919, has 270 calories, and probably tastes okay. Now, I uh, didn't exactly plan out, so uh, I'm going to use the help of my interdimensional hand demon to hold the mic for me. Thank you, interdimensional hand demon. Now, let's see how this tastes. That, that was okay. That was a decent soda. I didn't feel my arteries clogging. It wasn't the most atrocious thing I've ever tasted in my life. <laughs> I would give this a solid four out of five. This is a four out of five soda. It doesn't taste bad, but it certainly isn't in my top contenders for favorite. All right, and now after root beer, our next soda of the day is gonna be So, the next soda we're going to be reviewing is... Ma oh, fuck. Okay, okay, uh, next sodas, uh, 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 Mount, Mountain Dew, it, it's got a cool green color, um, it's super high in sugar, super bad for you, but tastes alright. <laughs> Dr. Pepper, I don't, I don't have much time. The CEO of Pepsi's after me, and uh, so Dr. Pepper, it, uh, it tastes okay. It, uh, it doesn't smell bad. It's good for your bones. CEO, what makes you thirsty for a nice Dr. Pepper? I can't open it. Hand demon. Thanks. <coughs> what the? This thing is terrible. It's flat, it's warm, it's. Five out of five. Good for your bones. Actually, you know, on second thought, I might just get a new one. 